Why do you think most male celebrities like Deion Sanders, Shaquille O'Neal, Jamie Foxx, and Young Jock are required at some point in their career to wear a dress to be successful? But they wouldn't take the. Oh uh, why, nigga? I I wore the dress, but I ain't taking that. Cause they think they they think it they think cause some of them like that dick. So they give you options. They don't force you. They lure you in. Yeah. Listen to me, homie. They give you options. They don't force you. They lure you in. Uh, they put you in situations. Uh, they take you through media training, as they would say. And in the process of media training, uh, your gay publicist or your, or your female publicist is going to have a gay hairstylist. And, and all of y'all are going to be staying in the same multi-million dollar house during media training. But they're going to keep you and the gay dude close to each other where y'all can share bathroom just in case you like gay dudes. And they can keep, yeah, they're going to put you in situations. So when you see these niggas in dresses and they seem like strong, straight men, they got women, that's because they don't like They didn't want to take the This was their option. Because, because uh, they don't force you, homie. They don't force you. That's why when you that's why when you enter into their world, it's not by force. They don't force nobody into that world because you ain't gonna keep their secrets. If you're forced in, they give you options. Which door you wanna go through? And them niggas pick their door. You gotta pick your door. You gotta pick your door. When you when you wanna go through, when you wanna get to the light. When you want to get to the light, you got to pick a door to go through. My next question is, and this is a very important question, I think needs to be addressed in the black community. Why are black men failing to leave their households? Uh, we don't know how. We don't know how to love and we don't know how to lead. Uh, you have you have to be trained up on to do that, homie. Uh, the homie said it earlier, he said, spur the rod, spar the child. But it also gave some instructions to the parent, not just to whoop your ass. Nigga, it says, train up a child in the way. Training, not raise. There's a difference between raising and training. We were raised. We weren't trained. So even the Africans, when they got the 13, they went off in the jungle and had to go through the training with the village leaders. Uh, white kids go to Boy Scout, get some kind of boy training. Uh, nigga, get foot, go to football, get some type of training on how to lead, whether you get to flip the coin. Nigga, so military training. All men get training. What training we got, nigga, other than mama whooping and correcting? And in the process of mama whooping and correcting, who you watching love mama? So, 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 so when you get with this little girl, the little girl done been raised to be strong, nigga, to be independent of, from you. Because they done already told her, but she leaves it out. Don't you rely on now, mother? So she done already been raised to be independent from you. So how she's been raised to not to trust you and go against you, nigga. You ain't been trained to show her. So how, how she go listen to you? You ain't been trained to show her. So it becomes about what y'all feel. That's why she can't trust you to lead, because it's about what y'all feel. You ain't got no training.